active energy technologies. When an observation cannot be explained by conventionally understood physics, we tend to choose not to believe our own eyes instead of studying these anomalies. There is not one, but many alternative scientific fields of technologies producing anomalous data such as clean energy, or the formation of new elements. Number 1, Cold Fusion. Also known as low energy nuclear reactions. Although formations of new elements, and excess energy has been observed, over and over again in thousands of experiments and organizations such as NASA, Mitsubishi and Boeing work with these technologies, Wikipedia refers to them as hypothetical reactions. Number 2, Sonoluminescence. Also known as bubble fusion. A technology that uses sound frequencies to produce bubbles in liquids. When these bubble collapses, extremely high temperatures are created. Move on. Nothing to see here. While Wikipedia is being slightly nicer describing sonoluminescence, we are also reminded that the leading researchers in this field publish scientific reports of low quality and carry very little credibility. Most of them has as well been accused of scientific misconduct. Move on. Nothing to see here. Number 3, Cavitation. Cavitation seems to be fairly related to bubble fusion. When the pressure of a liquid rapidly changes, cavities or voids are formed. These voids then implodes by falling in on themselves. As the implosion happens, extreme shockwaves are created. People who own boats are typically well aware of this phenomena due to the damages it causes to their propellers. Number 4, Muon Catalyzed Fusion. This is a scientifically proven form of nuclear reactions, that just as cold fusion, takes place under fairly low temperatures. Muon catalyzed fusion is widely believed to be inefficient and too expensive for commercial applications, so no one really bothered to discredit it as it's not a threat to anyone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whenever a cold fusion scientist applies for funding to carry out his research, he has rejected money due to the fact that nuclear reactions cannot take place under fairly low temperatures. I am myself reminded every single week about how the core of atoms repel each other's, unless you apply temperatures of hundreds of millions of degrees. But, but, but wait a minute. These people know very well that muon catalyzed fusion takes place under low temperatures, so why can not the same hold true for cold fusion? The scientific community needs to be reminded that due to the laws of quantum mechanics, fusion reactions will even take room spontaneously in a glass of water if we're able to observe it long enough. Winning the argument, most certainly won't win you your research grant. Scientists are smart people who appreciate that nothing in this world comes for free. After all, it's not like we can produce energy out of nothing. And that brings us to the next alternative energy technology on our list, number 5, Zero Point Energy. Zero Point Energy is a method to extract energy from nothing. Traditionally we think of empty space as nothing, or the absence of something. This is not true. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle teaches us that particles can pop up anywhere, randomly, at any given time, even in empty space. A fairly easy way to demonstrate this principle is trying to freeze liquid helium. When we bring the temperature of these liquids down we would expect the atoms should stop moving and freeze, but they don't. Instead it seems these liquids mysteriously borrow some energy from nothing. No one questions Professor Stephen Hawking when he travels around the world to speak about these things because it is a concept accepted in the scientific community. But imagine for a moment how hard it is to get funding to build a machine that extracts energy from nothing. Still there is actually people out there claiming to be producing huge amounts of energy, out of nothing. The purpose of this video was not to answer any questions but to ask question. For example, why is so little money spent on research of alternative energy that is clean? And, could there be some mechanism these different technologies we have spoken about have in common? Thanks for watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments in the fields below. Also for the latest news coming out of Cold Fusion, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and visit our webpage.